I hope I'm not as stupid as this thing makes me look. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas! Last time, we had a failed movie night after, you know, trying to take a break from the war and stuff. Decided to go see a movie, and we got zapped here to this scientific abomination wackadoo nonsense that is Big Mountain. Only to find out that we now are missing one spine, one brain, and one heart. So yes, I am a spi spineless, brainless idiot, as some of the comments like to point out. So, our goal, should we choose to accept it, which, if we want to ever get back out of here and go back home, we have to, we need to get over there to the Forbidden Zone. It's the only way we can get our brain back so we can get out of Big Mountain. However, we need to get a few components before we can actually get into the Forbidden Zone. We need to go to the... I just went away from it. We need to go to the X-13 facility, the X-8 facility, and the X-2 facility. There are also a couple of other places that we need to go to get, like, components, like we need to get the Sonic emitter upgrade, we need to go to Higgs Village to help out one of the brains, that is the Think Tank, and we need to start reactivating all the little robotic buddy buddies inside, um, here. So, without further ado, let's head out. I decided to... I re-equip everything I got. I decided to hotkey a few things, like any of the weapons that we've collected that I brought along with me. Not really much to do here. It's pretty dark. Actually, I kind of like the darkness. It, it kind of fits the area. We need to go to Big Mountain. Oh my god, I need to kill this radio. I thought I killed the radio already. I gotta admit, without all the lights in the Mojave, it's really nice out here. Just look at all the stars in the sky, and just the skyline, it's beautiful. However, why do I get the feeling that everything out here is gonna try and kill me? I just know it. Now, actually, there is a wild wasteland thing hidden around the Big Mountain Research Facility, like the main facility right here. I don't know where exactly it is, I know it's on the exterior wall. If I do come across it, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to show off. I might, yeah. Uh oh. Actually, I'm going to take this stupid thing off my head before I become too stupid to function properly down here. Uh, I, I guess I'll just put on my power helmet just for the extra protection. All right. Let's head out. I, we got something. What do we? Oh, I see something. Hell is it space people? Y17 trauma override harness. And the lobotomites. Yeah, we've heard that these guys. It's kind of sad with the lobotomites. Uh, basically, they're past victims who have gone absolutely crazy because they've been lobotomized so much by the think tank. I feel so bad for killing them, but it's not like we got a choice. They'll kill me because they're brainless idiots now that feed on only the need to hurt things. Saturnite Fist. I'll take that. Do you have anything else on you? A cherry bomb? No thanks. Got a pretty cool mask, so I might take that. And what do you have? Iron mask and goggles? Sure. And a vacuum cleaner. He's got a shish kebab. Actually, that sells for pretty well. I'll take that as well. I saw something walking around over here. It creeped me out a little bit. Where is it? Oh, there he is. What the hell is that thing? Um. Um. Oh god, he's got a flamethrower! The Cazador Preserve and the Night Stalker Splicing Facilities are strangely quiet. Too quiet. I don't like that sound. Cazador Splicing? Why would you want to splice something that terrifying? Also, where the hell is he going? Um. Actually, where the hell did he go? Oh, he's up here. Don't run! I want to kill you and study you! For science! Oh, hey, Night Stalkers! Yay, my favorite enemies in the game are in the DLC. That makes me a little happier. Oh, he's gone. Oh, wait, there he is. No, maybe I should have came out during the day. Actually, I think a Night Stalker's chasing them? Hmm. Anything in here? Ammo, I'll take that. Definitely good for the... K9000. And nothing. I'm not gonna bother with any more sunsets. I've drinking enough already. 
How have you noticed me? I mean, okay, yes, I got all these blinky lights on me. Wow, this thing is pissed off at me. Oh god! Back away! Sounds of bones crackling. Well, I can't study it now unless unless I want to study the pile of goo that's here. Ugh, human flesh. I'll take the flame refuel by it. That's all. Why did you have to attack me? We could have been friends. Maybe I should take Animal Friend just so that I don't have to worry about killing any more Night Stalkers. Actually, does Animal Friend affect the Night Stalkers on Big Mountain? I know it doesn't affect, like, the Yao Gwai in Honest Stars, but I didn't. I don't think that they affect the ones here as well. Because they're, like, special kinds of Night Stalkers. I don't know. If Future Me can figure it out, then by all means he'll throw it up. If not, then you won't be seeing anything. Alright, I think that's enough lollygagging around. Let's head off to the facility, which is... We're all the... Aw, no. Don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. You're too cute to kill. I feel so sad. I don't like snakes all that much, but these things are too adorable to kill. Look at them. Oh god, and now Robodogs are killing me. Rex, why have you betrayed me? Military cyber dogs. Why, Rex? I thought we were friends. Is this because I didn't take you enough on enough adventures? I'll rectify it before the LP ends, I promise. Oh, no, wait, that wasn't Rex. That was just another dog. Never mind. Maybe he was angry because I got a dog's brain in the, this gun, and that's why... It's so angry at me. I was like, you got my friend in there! Man, there are a lot of Night Stalkers around here. I need to heal up as well, because I am about ready to die. Um, I'll just drink water. Lighten the load, and also actually provides a significant amount of healing over time. Oh god! Of all things to make me jump, a police cyber dog is what did it. I heard like rattling, it was like, what What was another one of those like trauma things? Because it like sounds of bones rattling. I kind of like that my dog has like little dog ears on the top. I think that's supposed to be like the sights and it's just it's, like wagging it around. And it's also got like a... I actually never noticed, like, the real intricate things that this dog, the K9000 actually has. Like, the little, like, prod at the end, it, like, moves it around like it's sniffing, and also, like, the ears move up and down like it's a dog's ears. This has to be the most animated gun in the entire Fallout series. Down, boy. Down. Oh, someone was moving over there. I think it might have been another Night Stalker. These are some really weird machines. Or buildings, whatever. They're weird. Let's build giant hexagonal towers. Why? For science, of course! I definitely... Yep, Night Stalker. Look at them drawing their way over here. I'm gonna avoid them, because they're probably gonna kill me. X-13 research facility. What did they test in here? I have no idea. Hello? Anybody home? There's something in there. Laser pistols, a teddy bear, a bunch of ammo I could totally go for. Uh, for field gun prototype, we successfully created a capitance module capable of emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse from a sonic emitter. While the physical impact is rather weak, Jenkins fired the weapon at a force field and it fried the field's emitter array. Upon further study, we found the gun only affects small range of frequency frequencies. Unfortunately, all frequency of the force field fall within this range. The gun was sent to X8 for further study. Everything is under control down here. If you if I need your assistance, I'll let you know. Paris will be along shortly to retrieve the shipment. Hmm, so four 
force field destroying gun emitters. I wonder if that power's supposed to get in there. Why are you giving me leather armor this late in the game? Uh, I feel so bad for putting Fido away. Uh, not Fido, the K9000. Fido is a unique version of the K9000. Hello. Prototype X13 gloves. Interesting. Let's see. Mark II glove research. I have been working with Mori on fitting the gloves to the torso to come up with a few improvements that would should greatly enhance the user's manual dexterity. I adapted Redding's new re rubberized damping com compound and applied it to the palms and other high wear surfaces. Once the suit adjusts to the user, the benefits of these upgrades should be obvious. Interesting. Boots! These things were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. This is a really weird, like, containment thing, or is that supposed to be like a science-y light? Hmm, that's a very familiar-looking suit. Part 2 boot research. Researcher Kale's breakthrough on... Breakthrough with the suit's software has led me to a breakthrough of my own. By adding an advanced servo buffer to the existing leg rigs, I've been able to increase the resolution data sent to and from the central control module. Once these babies are hooked up to the torso, an agent should be able to be limber under barriers almost as fast as they can run. Sounds like a kick-ass suit. I hope I can wear it. Prototype X-13 chest plate. Huh, these look... X-13 experimental self-suit complete. Already? Ah, I thought I had to get, like, the bodysuit as well. You have obtained the... Aureal Stealth Suit, not only can it be upgraded through testing in X-13, it also has Medex and Stimpak reserves for all your pain dampening needs. Medex and Stimpaks not included. These look kind of familiar. Looks like uh, whoever was uh, inside the, the X-13 facility... What's this X-8? I think it's X-13. Was X-13? Yeah, it's X-13. They were trying to make knockoff Chinese stealth suits. Which is kind of sad when you're making knockoff Chinese products. Usually it's the other way around. March 2 Torso Research. I have uploaded Kale's latest firmware update to the suit. I think Kale has outdone himself this time. Self-updating firmware uh, is an ingenious addition to the system as we upgrade the suit. It'll automatically adapt the new system to the user's significant specifications. During testing, unlock the features they come online. This will save hundreds of hours of fiddling with settings. Note to self, make Kale a key in my famous battle group. Gross. Who even likes Kale anyway? I'm guessing that's the testing facility down there. You know, why don't we put on the suits? See how it fits. Also, I think this armor is giving me a way to the guys out there. Ooh, all right. Uh, where is the suit? There it is. Stealth suit mark two. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Uh, everyone! We're okay on Stimpax. Hmm. No, maybe why don't we put on yeah, the helmet and goggles make me too look too stupid. How's the mask look? We're okay on medics until we have to numb the pain. Eh. I guess this works as Are protection. You watched? I'm gonna take you off. Line. I wish I could take one of the helmets. Alright, Night Stalker Research. I believe the latest serum has proven to be a success. Under human observation, the creatures remain visible. But some of the nighttime recordings reveal the serum is working. The animals appear to be learning how to use their new cloaking ability when no one is around. Perhaps there is a physical limitation or some mental drawback to the ability which prevents its user during duress. I think you... I, I will pursue stress testing of the animals first thing holiday morning. Or Monday morning. I almost said it looked like it was holiday morning for me. I'm an idiot. 
I must be wearing those goggles. Server sis sniffer. The VR sim is corrupted? Damn it, sounds like there was a big there was a bug in the software somewhere. I hope to god it doesn't screw with the suit systems. I just got the firmware updated from Mori over the weekend. For now, let's just test Callus. We're having power issues and focus on rep contests until we get the suit ready for real world real world tests. PS, delete this message ASAP. I don't want Callus harassing me over this. Excellent teacher. Notice your shipment of cattle rods arrived today. I'd like to remind you our systems are designed to prevent infiltration by enemy agents, not internal threats. If you're doing any testing on creatures, please forward that task to the animal testing facility as you found with the sonic emitter. Our force fields can't handle power fluctuations well. Test subject observations. I've noticed some of the creatures have been increasingly aggressive when I come into the lab on Monday in the morning. Did something change their diet? I'll run some tests if you like. Test subject observations. I went ahead and did the lab test and noticed the apparel changes to their blood work. I'm concerned over use of the cattle prods may react with the chemistry of the injections. This is new ground we're treading. I'd hate to see your hard work lost to a change in brain chemistry. The critters could be invaluable in the war effort if we somehow control their behavior. So it seems like Night Stalkers were being gene spliced to help out in the war. They were becoming living weapons. Unlock elevator to the testing chamber. Why not? Let's explore this place. Let's explore to our heart's content. Data collection array online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. Let's talk of research. I believe the latest serum proven to be a success in making more observation of creatures that are invisible. Or so okay, I've already done, read all this stuff. Yeah, it's all the same. I guess that's the terminal they were talking about. Anything over here? Hello? Anybody home? Hmm. Interesting setting down there. Anything back here? Ooh, ammo, lots of ammo. Even though it's drained, I can always just recharge it. Foot locker. Nothing. Anything over here. Looks like a turret. Anything I can make? Convert missile into rockets. Max charge. Yeah, I've recycled the pack so we can get recycling energy cells and recycle microfusion cells. And why not? We'll recycle some flavor fuel as well. There we go. Test area A review. I ain't even gonna bother to pronounce that. Had me run through the first part of the facility test. The tripwires and proximity mines all over the day, and the suit kept chafing. Mori says new firmware updates fixed the suit's fitment sync ability, but I'm not sure. The legs kept binding up on me, and the torso was ridiculously tight. Maybe I should stop lifting fancy lads from Suro stashes. What the hell? What the hell is this his damn problem? All I was doing was reading the latest issue of La Fantoma, and that grouch callous called me an asshat. What the hell is an asshat anyway? Funny, haha. My last name is Butts. That got old in grade school. The snobby bastard. Sorry, I need to vent. Butts. Dr. Butts. How would you like to be tested by Dr. Butts? Show of hands. Oh, it looks like there was a party up here. Or a bet. You know what? I'll take the cards. I said I'll take the cards and whatever. I'll take the nuka coal and the money. Oh, there's no terminal. I'm actually enjoying reading these terminals, actually. I don't ever bother reading them, but now that I've actually gotten into it, I actually like it. Fuel gun prototype, which is actually created kind of a suggestion. While slow as sloth is being busy up his face and trying to find new places to hide his junk food from callus. I decided to experiment with a mod from one of the techs over in X8. May not be able to afford 
a decorate like those eggheads upstairs, but I've been programming since I was in diapers. I found a ton of redundancies and exponential loop failures those halfwits must have missed. My fixes should speed up the brief fire rate of the canine weapon. They sh they've been working on maybe if I leave it to leave it on their desk, they'll actually get in implemented. Lord knows they wouldn't take me seriously if I tried to take credit. Computer upgrade canine mod. Huh. Actually, it was a good thing I read these computers. Oh, well, and that's the case. Let's see. What the hell? Check out this mod I've been working on. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I've been helping you guys over in XA test out the new toy they've been building. Get this. It's a gun that uses a dog's brain to, trick tar to track targets. They asked me to play around with their gun trigger code, and I have come up with this mod. Next time you're over there, would you give it a shot? Callus has swamped me, said next door Tina for the coming visit to Leeds and wants the turrets in place so we don't fall for the new security requirement, fail the new security requirements. Forward. Yeah, that's just forwarding the message earlier. K9 mod Risa Roly. Who comes up with these things? is down here. I'm guessing this is for the testing area. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, look, it's a robo-brain. It's very small, I must say. Kind of looks like a, a little R2-D2 with a brain inside it. Hello, sir. Would you like to be tested today? Welcome to the Aperture Laboratories. Actually, to be fair, this DLC actually feels like it was made by Valve with the humor that it has in it. Uh, let's see. Would it be this way? Looks like it. Activate test ter terminal. Testing section, basic begin infiltration this test. This is a basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us. All right, as soon as the mission dossier gets out of my face, we'll try and do the X-13 test. For this test, you must steal a document in the administrator's office without being detected by patrolling robots. A successful run will automatically update the suit software and award an item in the supply cabinet. Success, reach the administrator's office and steal documents without being detected. Failure, detection. Project X-13. Turn off your Pip-Boy light. Oops. That might actually be helpful. Unless I got that perk, which I didn't. Alright, so... Actually kind of good to remember the robot's l control patterns. Luke's not trying to kill me. Actually, do I have any cat eye on me? That might actually help. Advanced. No, it doesn't look like it. Probably should have grabbed some before we w came out here. Oh, wait, yeah, here he's moving. It's a good thing I got this giant neon sign on my back. They'll never see me. like the door over there is my best bet. Probably should have memorized, went through every room and memorized every robot's location so I could easily get through here, but eh, whatever. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, it's locked. Probably would have helped if I locked picked this earlier. Thank God it's easy. This is the room I actually just started in. I'm 
Which I'll pick, which means it's probably like a shortcut to bypass the robot in the hallway. To avoid the hall monitor! And I'm guessing that... Oh, no, wait, he's moving. Hi. Well, this stealth suit is really stealthy. about to turn his back and we'll sneak our way through. I think I went the wrong way. It's probably going to be a stupid idea, but what's the local map? Okay, the local map is still not as helpful as it ever should be. Of course the... Come on, go, 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 go. So it tells me what I need to get through is in that door over there. So I'll just do this. Door, please. And we're in. And where, ah, safe, of course. I'm in. Data processed for more updated to version 1.1. Boot damping sensors online. Rewards stripped has been placed in the reward safe next to the testing terminal. Schematics for the Stealth Suit Mark II have been uploaded to Think Tank. Stealth Suit Mark II version 1.1. And I've leveled up. Nice. What to dump stuff into? Alright, so there's not really a whole lot left to pump stuff into, and I'm on level 36, so I'm going to be getting a new perk. But I decided to up explosive to 70, put wet melee weapons up to 80, sneak is up to 53, because I just had 3 left over, and unarmed is up to 90. Now, what to get? This is actually kind of hard, because I'm running out of ideas of what to add to this. All right, so not really anything that really benefits me in the long run, so I decided to go with the perk that seems like the most fun to use, and I decided to go with the Meltdown perk. Meltdown causes foes killed by energy weapons to give off a corona of harmful energy. Note this weapon, this can cause a chain reaction. Seems like a fun perk to use, so I'm actually gonna go for it. Might be a bad idea, might not, I don't know. It's my game, it's my run, that's what I'm gonna go with. So, with the test... Well, I just need to put goggles on for that to happen. It would be nice if I actually saw the Ripple Scorpions. We haven't seen anything one of them. Alright, so what was the perk that we got? In fact, Sneak is now up by 25, I think. Oh, we got something. Up, oh, yep, that's a Robo Scorpion, all right. And yes, they actually have speakers, so Mobius is voice. All right, where to hit it? All right, so tiny. The Mark III B, I'm guessing B stands for big. Whatever. Wacky whack. Wow, I am so stealthy, I smacked it in the tail and it still didn't see me. Are you sure you scanned something? Are you sure you didn't scan this? These things actually have a pretty high damage threshold. Why 
scorpions, though. I mean, I guess it beats Robo Spiders. Buzz? Off! Take pro taste product placement! Cessation of hostility complete. Anything inside these guys? Energy cells. Nice. Makes sense they shoot lasers out of their tails. Alright. Well, let's head back to the testing area. This one looks pretty tough. Oh, there, there are scorpions all over the place. Are you talking about me smacking these things with my giant neon sign, or the fact there's scorpions under steam me? I recognize that mugging voice anywhere. I need to see. I can't see anything in this. Hmm. I guess it must be up on the upper level up there. If I remember right, this... No, this is supposed to be an office building. There's this, like a testing facility that's like a school that has like an old Easter egg inside it. And this seems more like an office building. Yeah, he must. Yep, there he is. He's up there. Let's see what's in the reward safe. Hmm. Testing section. Replay basic began. Advanced infiltration test. This is Advanced test. Watch out for laser tripwires. They'll ruin our day. For this test, you must sneak to and steal the document from the administrator's office while being detected. Laser tripwires have been added to, for increased difficulty. A successful run will automatically update suit software and award an item in the supply cabinet. So now we can't take the more direct route. As you can see, I kind of like the. You get like a little progress bar of all the suits, abilities that you unlock as you complete tests. So I kind of like that little, little add-on thing that they put in here. And as you can see now, we got laser trip wires that we cannot touch or else it failed the test. Can I actually deactivate them? Run the hack the laser trip wires in there's IFF circuit. Ah, oh, so I can deactivate them. Nice. What if the IFF thing is? I guess, like, if you fail it, then it will just return back on when it fails, but if the IFF is messed with, then it won't detect you? I don't know. I ain't gonna take the chance. Ooh! Why am I even going this way? I should take that. And that is, that is a mean placement. Do you think you can sneak past the two tripwires right here if you don't have enough science or... What was it? Science or repair? Yeah, science are repaired to do it. You, so you jump over the desk, immediately a laser tripwire right there to greet you. That's all. Don't know what that was about. Oh, and the doors relock. That's good. It's a good thing I got plenty of bobby pins and plenty of time to deal with it. I'm guessing advance will be don't let the turret see you either. Now someone's just compensating for too much. Don't mind me, I am one with the darkness. I mean, after all, I walked right in front of that one, so it should have no problem not seeing me. It's kind of like the still suit in Metal Gear Solid 4. It was like walk lay up against something it blends right into the environment. Right, come on. You were the slowest robo brain ever. Some a trip wire. Open the door to the administrator's office. That is still very mean. Oh, that is just evil. There's no way I can disarm this one, so I have to be ballsy and jump over it. Oop! Actually. No, don't want to search the cabinet. I want to 
mess with this thing, hack the laser tripwires, emitters, IFF circuits. And I'll take that document. And now we get one perception while we're in the stealth suit. Hello. So now it looks like the arm. All right, you know what? I'm going to come up here and I'm going to smack that scorpion. Come here. Where are you? There you are. I see you. I see you too. Now die. Right. What is my prize this time? I've gotten fixing things in microfusion cells. Lovely. Alright, let's begin the expert infiltration test. This is the expert stealth test. If you thought the lasers were bad, wait till you see the proximity mines. Proximity mines! For this test, you must deal a document in the administrator's office about being detected by tripwires and proximity detectors have been activated for increased difficulty. Successful run will automatically update the suits. You're seeing the about being detected by the mines and the robots and the sensors. What's with the turrets then? I wonder what the proximity mines look like. Something tells me I'm probably gonna find out pretty soon. We're all lit up. Is it Christmas? Sadly, no. That's oh. Nobody ever notices me, but they notice the Pipboy light. Shut up. Are no mines. That's good. What's that robot doing? Oh, he's coming. I feel like I'm trained to be the world's worst secret agent. It's like corporate espionage gone wrong. Oh good, you just arrived. Don't mind the glowing green tubes on my back. It's just Christmas lights. And yeah, we'll go with that. Huh, actually there is no laser trip wires. I figured there would be. Oh, no wait, I just deactivated them. Whew, so that's what they look like. They look like false mines. And not detected because the IFF doesn't notice me. And inside is another document. For more updated to version 1.3. And now I got one agility. To use your physiology. And I think that was all the testing for the X18 or 13, whatever. Let's check. Test selection. Begin robot compliance test. What's this? This is the robot compliance test. If you sneak up on a robot, you can disable it. It's so easy, even I can't mess up. For this test, you must disable all active robots without being detected. We need to calibrate the suit's FCC field compliance generator, oh, FCG, for the proper variants. All security measures will, are active. It's successful and will reward war an item and supply gun. Disable all robots without being detected. Does that mean they're activating all the things? I'm gonna have to deal with turrets now. Because all I have to do is just deactivate all the robo brains in there. Or I guess it's just go up and mess with them. Ooh. I guess it would be around the corner. Like a security camera. Ah, there you are. There's a way to get over there fast enough that I can't get over there without that tripwire. Back, back up. Ooh. 
Not today. And why not, just so I don't end up catching myself that there actually is another test after this. Tripwire deactivated. Alright, little robot friend. Time to die! Tag, you're it. Nope. Nope. It's gotta be out in that hallway then. Where are we at? Is it Christmas? Yes, it's Christmas. I think there's only three robo brains in this entire testing facility. Is that? No, that's glasses. Eh, I don't want to risk it. Come on, turn around. Turn around so I can poke you in the back. You. And now, you. Test data processed. Firmware updated to version 1.4. Impulse accelerator online. Alright, nice. Project 13, we now have increased sneak speed. Not by much, but eh, you take what you can get. Ah, the sneaky stealth suit is fully upgraded. What was with those turrets? I ask you, were they gonna kill me if I got caught? Doesn't seem like it since it's just a testing facility, but eh, whatever. Alright. Let's go to quest. We got the sneaky stealth suit. Uh, let's see. Can I find it? Where do we have to go for the sonic emitter upgrade? That's all the way on the other side of Big Mountain. Alright. What about uh, Brain's best friend? That's all the way down there in that little box-shaped area. All my friends have off switches! Any over here? No. There are two are up on the top, and one's over by there. I guess going to X2 would probably be the best area then. And we'll, after X2, we'll get we'll go to Higgs Village, get like the component, and then go to X8. How much? How are we doing on time? Uh, I think we might have enough time to get to X2. All right, now the only thing that's left: figure out a way out of this place. That's the wrong way. Hmm. Was it this way? Yeah, there we go. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Uh oh, right. So killing them with energy weapons now basically just turns them into a uh, plasma grenade. That's actually pretty good. Actually, I'm kind of happy I took this perk. I, although I do think I take splash damage from it, so I need to kill him from a distance. And that's probably not a smart thing to do when most of the enemies here are trying to get up and close with me. Illusion not as terrifying as rat scorpions. In fact, these things are kind of adorable. If there was a plush of the robo scorpions, I would buy it. And behind door number two, if I can actually get the damn door open. Chess! Of course! I'd say it's just a broom closet. 
Kind of sad that it's, not, it's a locked door. There's not like two skeletons or like teddy bears or whatever just sitting there playing chess. If it were Fallout 4, it would be two mannequins just awkwardly placed there because that game seems to have a fixation of mannequins. Yeah, but this technology won't be safe, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot the stuff to actually, um, it's kind of like the medic suit from Fallout 3 where if you get hurt enough, ow, it will automatically heal you. Speaking of healing, I got plenty of stim packs to spare. Alright, um, we go over to this facility right here. Actually, there's a lot of facilities over uh -oh. here we can visit. You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! This might have been a bad idea. I'm sorry, my little snake friends. Please forgive me. I hate putting that gun away, it's so sad. Whee! Whoa. I must have gravity bullets built into this gun or something. Whatever these things are guarding, they really don't me want me going to it. Must be like a nest or something here. This feels like the place that there should have been like the legendary Night Stalker. Just with the overabundance of them. I mean, I get it. This is the place where they came from, so they probably breed like crazy out here. Um... I guess it was... Is it just an outside area? Or is this like a building I can go into? Ah, uh, it's just an outside area. That looks like a building I can go into. Ready? Steady? Ow! What the hell? Oh, he's got a Goss rifle. Small number of bones. Oh my god, it's a spooky, scary skeleton! I'll take that Goss rifle. It is a spooky, scary skeleton. Spooky. We're out of fall. Why are these guys here? Z43 Innovative Toxins Plant. Hmm. All points. Uh, what's JFP? Eh, whatever. we we'll use it. Now go into the building. I guess we're not going to be going to the next... I guess we're not going to... What was it? X8? Or X3? Whichever. Let's explore this place a little bit. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Um. But what exactly are we fighting? I honestly don't see anything. Whoa. 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 Buddy. No. None of that. Oh, this place has an infestation of these guys. Does that feel better? 
Probably should have used a more accurate weapon. Oh man, they're all over the place. Do I have any turbo? Oh, he's got a Gatling laser as well. I think I might have found the breeding ground for these guys. Of course not. Do I have anything steady? I'll take Slasher as well. Of course, I don't have enough AP. And I'm boned. What kind of skeleton was that? If it was bloody all over it. I exploded a skeleton in the meat chunks. How the hell did I do that? Laser RCW. I don't really want that. I'm not even going to question how I explode a skeleton in meat chunks. Physics has just decided to leave the building. So, I guess I might as well, since we've been running into these guys now, the Y17 trauma override harnesses. Um, the science uh, explanation behind these things was they were supposed to be, I think they were going to be combat things or exploration equipment since, you know, they're like spacesuits. And what was going to happen is if there was like a catastrophic damage to like the wearer, then the harness would override their body and walk them back to uh, like the nearest area where they could get treated for their, their injuries. Saddest part is that's got to be one of the worst ideas ever. It's like, oh god, I broke my leg. Wait, why is the suit working? No, don't walk me back. No! That's got to be the worst thing to ever happen to a person. But the reason why they're all spooky, scary skeletons is, well, the, you know, the world ended, so... They all died while wearing the suits because the suits two couldn't... Plus two equals Wow, that sounds like a pun only I would come up with. But yeah, the since they the war happened in uh, Apocalypse doth begin, they couldn't get back to what what the what the hell is going on over there? I'm sorry, what? Okay. This might be a bad idea. I need to explore this. This is too weird to not explore. What is that? Is that a Night Stalker freaking out or something? Oh my god. Oh my god. What has science be created? Um. Are you alright? I guess this is how Night Stalkers make their burrows. They just completely spaz out. Um. Let me see if I can help. If you want, get in there. Get in there. Oh, great. Now I feel like I need to censor that. Oh, it looks like it worked. Glad I could be of assistance. Alright, I think we should head over to the next area, and then I might call it a video, and we'll just pick up right where we left off. Y12 Research Center. We'll have to pay that a visit sometime. Can't get distracted. Gotta just have a set goal, see the set goal through. It uh, looks like it has to do with satellites? Uh-oh. I feel like this thing is tapped into my brain with how much it's just been... Hello! With how much it's just been repeating what I've said. I am liking this perk. I am really liking this perk. Oh, hunting revolver. I thought he had one of my favorite weapons in New Vegas, which I probably should try and collect sometime. 
fighting now. Is that an energy axe? That looks badass. I must have it. Hey, buddy. Sorry about this. Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? I don't know. Whoever's the brains of the operation. Proton Axe. Fighting over. Let's take a look at it, actually. Probably looking weapons, you idiot. Huh, looks actually kind of badass. Uh oh. It's an ambush! Yeah, okay, pull that out. I kind of want to see if I can get a chain reaction going. They're always too spaced far apart to actually, you know, link the explosions together. That's all. I think I just sent part of him into orbit. Hmm. They always have, like, a weird assortment of items, I guess, because, like, they become too stupid to functionally operate. Operate? Yeah, I can is talk, Wells. Uh, they just start collecting random junk, which is why they have, like, a weird selection of items inside them. Bad guys dealt with. I got plenty of ammo to burn through, so I might as well start using it. Actually, he had some ammo on him. At least we'll take those. Although I do feel bad for killing these guys so much. They didn't ask for this. They didn't ask to be turned into science experiments. They didn't ask to be mindless killers now. I guess technically I am helping them by not having... By just, like, finally granting them the peace that they deserve. Eh, whatever makes me sleep well at night. Ready, steady, fighting. <sighs> These guys, on the other hand, they can go burn. Eh, get it? See what I did? Because he's got an incinerator. Go burn. <laughs> Ow. Uh, what do I try? So sad. And now I'm at an attic. I need to get that auto dock back and running so I can clear this addiction. <laughs> I don't know why, but this tilted, hey, how's it going? Look on the skulls, just hilarious. Like, hey, how's it going? I'm trying to kill you, buddy. Wait, why are you aiming that thing at me? No, please, no! I'm having too much fun with this. It should be a crime. Alright, is this... The X2 Transmitter Antenna Array. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's probably where we're going to end it off. We made some progress. We got through the X-13 facility. We got the sneaky suit. We got it fully upgraded. And we got a new and enjoyably fun perk. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to head up to the antenna array. Might go to a few more areas around here. Oh, God, what is coming this way? What the hell is that? Is that... Oh, it's just a couple of lobotomites. One's got a shish kebab. One's got a... I think one had a trail carbine. Come on. Stop messing up the outro. Anyone else? Anyone else want some? Actually, yes, you do. Okay, can we seriously just stop with this stalemate? You just come over here and die. Ow. 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 Okay, buddy, go away. Yeah, that's right. Go into orbit. Now, where was I? Oh, right. We're going to head up to the X2 antenna array. We might go over to Higgins Village and then make our way over to the far side, which is the X8. And then we'll start doing some more exploration around Big Mountain. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.